it stores all your Tech One applications. It's easy to keep up to date. You need it for SPS remote programming. It's the mass storage cartridge. Hi, I'm Jim Scopolitis. Here's a quick preview of what we're going to cover today. What is the mass storage cartridge, or MSC? What can you do with the MSC? Connecting a Tech One with an MSC to TechLine equipment, updating the MSC, and SPS remote programming. SPS stands for Service Programming System. SPS provides technicians with a method for programming the PROMs in selected control modules. SPS is thoroughly covered in the CPT videotape course. SPS remote programming is one part of the service programming system. Okay, let's get started with topic number one. What is the mass storage cartridge? The mass storage cartridge was first introduced in August of 1992. So chances are good you're already using this little wonder. But just to be sure we're all on the same page, let's do a quick review of the main points. The MSC replaces all the individual cartridges we used to use. All the Tech One applications you need can now be stored in this one cartridge. And the best news is this. Once you have this cartridge, you don't have to buy new ones every year. You can keep this one up to date by loading new software into it. We're going to cover that in detail later in the program. These are the applications available in the current version of the software. Powertrain for model years 94 and 95. Chassis, 94 and 95. Body systems, 94 and 95. Service programming, 90 through 95. And a number of other applications. We'll get a closer look at service programming later in this program. You can use the mass storage cartridge with all but the earliest Tech One units. There's an easy way to confirm compatibility. If your Tech One has a backlit display, it can use the MSC. So, now that we know what this is, let's move on to the next topic. What can you do with the mass storage cartridge? The first answer is, you can do all the normal Tech One functions, such as viewing information, checking for and clearing DTCs, and diagnosing intermittents. But there are two more things you can do with the MSC. First, you can use it to program the PROM in selected control modules. Second, and I've already mentioned this, you can connect the Tech One to a TechLine terminal to load new software into the MSC. Which conveniently brings us to topic number three. Connecting a Tech One with a mass storage cartridge to TechLine equipment. Let's reduce this to the basics. To communicate with a TechLine terminal, you need just two connections for the Tech One. One for power and one for data. The Tech One needs 12 volts DC, and you have the following options. A properly charged vehicle battery, the power socket available on some but not all TechLine terminals, or the power socket on an off-board programming adapter, or OBPA. The OBPA is an adapter which is used to program a control module when the vehicle is not available. It's important that the Tech One's voltage supply is not interrupted while the unit is communicating with the TechLine terminal. At best, you'll have to start the procedure all over again. At worst, the Tech One's electronics could be damaged by a voltage spike. For the data connection, there are only two options. For a CAMS terminal, such as this one, you'd connect the Tech One's DLC cable to the terminal's DLC cable using this 12-pin DLC adapter. For TechLine terminals with an RS-232 interface, you plug the Tech One serial cable into the terminal's RS-232 port. There are two ways to connect a serial cable to a Tech One. The later model Series A Tech Ones have a built-in RS-232 port on the side of the case. Older Tech Ones must use an RS-232 cartridge that installs in the top slot. You can find detailed connection instructions for the TechLine equipment in your shop in the Mass Storage Cartridge User's Guide. 
and in the reference booklet for the Service Programming System CPT course. All right, let's move on. Updating BMSC. It's important that all the Tech Ones in your shop be kept up to date. Fortunately, this isn't hard to do. Updated software, as well as new applications for the MSC, arrive on the Tech Line CD-ROM. Once the information on the CD-ROM has been loaded into the Tech Line terminal, it can be transferred to the mass storage cartridge. We'll go through the procedure step by step on this CAMS terminal. To begin, bring up the terminal menu. From there, select MSC for mass storage cartridge functions. You will then see this screen listing all of the applications available in the current software. The only function of this screen is to show you the current applications. When you're ready, select Done. The display will change to this screen, which is a list of instructions for connecting the Tech One to the Tech Line terminal. The first instruction refers to the switch at the end of the terminal's DLC cable. Confirm that the switch is set to M. When you have provided the Tech One with power and made the data connection, you should see this screen on the Tech One display. Back at the terminal, we can now select OK. At this point, the Tech Line terminal initiates communication with the Tech One. In the process, it automatically compares the software in the mass storage cartridge with the latest software available. While this is going on, you see several different screens on the terminal display. There are actually two kinds of software contained in the mass storage cartridge. In addition to the applications, there's also a program called the Resident. This software controls the cartridge and lets you run individual applications. The Resident software is occasionally updated to a newer version. If the cartridge software is completely up to date, the terminal displays this current contents list. Notice that this applications list is identical to the one you saw after you first selected the MSC function. On the other hand, if the tech line terminal finds that the software on the cartridge is not up to date, you will see this message. Although it gives you the chance to say yes or no, I can't imagine why you would ever say no to getting the cartridge updated. When you select yes, the tech line terminal automatically begins the update procedure. Again, terminal display screens tell you what's happening as you wait. While the update is in progress, the Tech One display looks like this. In addition to updating the software, the MSC function also lets you add or delete applications from the cartridge. When you select the Add function, this screen will tell you what applications, if any, are available for adding. Look for the letter A here in the status column. Only applications with the letter A can be added to the MSC. The letter C stands for current and indicates that the current application is already contained in the cartridge. Back at the current content screen, we can see a button marked special. Select this only in case of a problem with the mass storage cartridge. You won't need these functions for routine operations, but I'll cover them briefly so you know what they are. The reprogram option allows you to replace the resident software. You can then reload the applications you want. If you need help with this procedure, you can call the Tech Line Customer Support Center at 1 800 828 6860. The restore function can load a previous version of a selected application into the cartridge. And the undelete function does just what it sounds like it puts back any applications that were previously deleted. And that covers updating. Ready for the final topic? SPS Remote Programming. You've probably heard about aftermarket PROMs used to increase the power output of electronically managed engines. Well, because many of these hot PROMs cause an increase in exhaust emissions, 
the California Air Resource Board and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency have written some new rules for control modules that regulate emissions. They have mandated that some of these control modules must be tamper resistant for model year 1994 and that all such control modules must be tamper proof by model year 1996. As a result, all programmable PROMs will now be soldered onto the circuit boards. So when we need to program a new engine calibration, we'll be doing it with the service programming system. Now, the easiest way to program a PROM is with direct programming. That means you connect a tech line terminal directly to a vehicle. However, that may not be possible or convenient. For one thing, if your shop has a T5, T5 Turbo, or T15, these terminals cannot do direct programming. Also, if the vehicle can't be brought near a tech line terminal, direct programming will be impossible. Whenever you can't use direct programming, remote programming is one option. The other option is to remove the control module from the vehicle and use an off-board programming adapter. When you do remote programming, you're using the mass storage cartridge as a place to temporarily store information. First, you get information from the control module in the vehicle. The tech line terminal then reads that information from the cartridge's memory. Next, the tech line terminal downloads the new calibration into the cartridge memory. You take the tech one back to the vehicle and transfer the new calibration to the control module. All the Tech-1 and the mass storage cartridge are really doing is carrying information. Here's how it works in detail. Connect the Tech-1 with MSC to the vehicle. Set the ignition switch to on. And choose the programming mode. Answer the questions about the vehicle. Then choose Request Info. After a short wait, the Tech-1 will display a number and ask you if this is the correct VIN. Check the actual VIN. And if it's a match, choose Yes. The Tech-1 will then display the number of the calibration currently programmed into the control module. Make a note of this number. And when you're ready, press the Exit key. At this point, information about the current calibration of the vehicle's control module has been loaded into the mass storage cartridge. Now connect the Tech-1 to the Tech Line terminal. Select the service programming application and choose the appropriate programming method. Select Done, then OK. And the Tech Line terminal will establish communications with the Tech-1. When you see the summary screen, select Program to download the new calibration. You'll see this display during the programming. And the terminal will tell you when the download is finished. When it's done, reconnect the Tech-1 to the vehicle. When the Tech-1 is again connected, navigate back to the mode selection screen and choose Program ECM. The process will take a few minutes. And the Tech 1 will tell you when it's done. And now it's my job to tell you that we're done. So, now you know all about the mass storage cartridge. Please keep yours up to date. When you have the latest software, it's much easier to fix them right the first time.